Well, when I uh, when I started to uh, put the idea together, I wanted to have an extension of someone's dining room, so it's very comfortable. South Oklahoma City, they like to have something that's comfortable and something that's easy, uh, easy just to relax in. I wanted to have something that you can come in, have a nice conversation, not have too much uh, noise going on with too much loud music. So we just really wanted to have something that was more of an extension of someone's home so they could sit down, feel comfortable, and just kind of share food and just have a really nice time and just kind of relax with friends. I actually started uh, started in this area just about a quarter of a mile over and I've lived all uh, all through South Oakland City so I've always loved this area. My grandparents started our floral, uh, my family's flower shop, Jewel Box Florist, over 50 years ago so our family has always been around uh, the South Oakland City side so this is kind of that, uh, this is true home to me so this is why I wanted to come back to this area. Yeah. Our catering started a little over two years ago. Uh, we've uh, been very uh, very successful in, uh, in launching that. We, uh, we continue to keep uh, just, uh, uh, just expanding and expanding. We're, uh, we're just getting bigger and bigger every year, which is great. Uh, and that led us into having the bistro. We, we worked so hard with the catering that people were starting to say, you need to have something in South Oklahoma City to kind of really showcase some of the things that you do in your culinary. But now, uh, with our restaurant uh, starting up, our uh, catering has even, uh, even grown even faster. And it makes it much easier for me to be able to really showcase, since we are new, uh, being uh, that you would have a, a party for friends, you really want to know the food that you're going to be having. So we're actually able to kind of showcase some different things, have tastings for them and all that. So this has really worked out. They you know go hand in hand together. Uh, and our uh, a room is set up where we actually can have small events inside this room also. We have the ability to uh, cater for up to 700 in different locations, South, North, and Central Oklahoma City in different uh, uh, beautiful halls. So we are able to do uh, many different types of events, everything from seated to buffet to appetizer to just really uh, fun, interactive uh, wedding uh, weddings that we've done. Uh, we have the ability, especially in the floral side of it, I've always learned to intro uh, introduce different flowers, colors, and uh, and with my culinary, I found all kinds of new different uh, containers and all those. So we kind of put those things together. So we love interacting. We love all those interactive things. Full like service. Uh... Full service, yes. <laughs> yes. Well, uh, tonight, one of the things that we're doing is we're doing, uh, we're doing corn dogs, but we've taken a twist on that. We're doing a smoked uh, salmon corn dog, which we'll uh, be show uh, showcasing you here today. Uh, we have some things uh, that are familiar for everybody, uh, stuffed mushrooms, but our stuffed mushrooms are a little bit different. We actually uh, do seasonal, so we have uh, kale that just came in, we have farro, so we're actually uh, taking those together, binding them together, and making a beautiful uh, stuffed mushroom that we actually, uh, we actually uh, flash fry very quickly, and we take that right back out, but then we put that under a little beef demi, so it's a little... Uh, a little bit more upscale, but at the same time, it's those notes that you always remember as a kid having stuffed mushrooms. So it's just a little bit of a twist, and we try to put a little bit of a healthy uh, kick in there with the fresh kale. <laughs> and so we have a lot of the seasonals that will be coming in. Uh, we're uh, looking at, for spring. We're really excited about that, uh, looking at all the new produce that will be coming in. And still, we're still uh, able to bring in all the winter squash, the, uh, the, uh, the kale, the different things like that that we're actually going to showcase. And those things like that, that if we can bring it, uh, if we can bring produce and product in closer to Oklahoma City, that's less preservatives that go into the mills and less seasonings that actually need to be put into those because everything is just has so much more flavor when it's grown local. And especially Oklahoma being uh, the capital of so many great things, beef, all those different things like that has always been very important to me. Even going all the way back to the governor's mansion when we did Made in Oklahoma. We did all those things. I would always try to bring Oklahoma products and uh, and involve them with whoever might be coming from our state, out of country, and blending those two together and showing how how a state of Oklahoma and the the guests that be coming in, how that we could put those things together and really uh, form a great union together. And so that was one of the things that we really did enjoy doing. We are uh, on the northeast corner of 104th and Southwestern. Uh, we are in the uh, shops of Palagio Center. Uh, we uh, are open Monday, excuse me, Tuesday through Friday from 11 to 2 for lunch, uh, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday night for dinner from 4.30 to 9, and then now we just opened up for brunch. So we're open up for brunch on Sundays from 10 to 2. So, and we do private parties in uh, this location here, so if you want to have on an off night, we do all kinds of parties. That's really why we have a different schedule. 
because I still kind of play, uh, uh, we still have quite a bit of uh, private events, so we do a lot of those things.